Hi guys. Welcome to Amelia Bee's Crafting World. She's not sitting there. She decided to go get her hair done dead. She's getting ready for the party. This is going to be our last make-along for all the party things. And then it's the party. Can you believe it? I can't, I can't believe it. So that being said, we have a number of things we have to make today, and then we'll be done. Now, I may add up some little things here and there on my own. Maybe. I don't know. We'll see. I'll be right back. I'm thinking about things. You think about things. Let's think about things. Oh, grab a cup of tea or your favorite beverage. I'll see you in a minute. So one of my friends said you should do pineapple slices with cherries. There's a name for those cherries. And I know that it starts with an M. And I know I'm going to say it wrong. So I'm not going to say it. And I'm not going to even try. So I said to myself, not to her, but to myself, I said, Bren, I'm going to try to make pineapple slices with the M cherries. So I have some yellow polymer clay, and I'm going to put it on a surface, and I'm going to roll it out. I use whatever I have. I mean, I'm not going to go get a special rolling pin for polymer clay when I have things around. I'm just, if you're, no, I'm not doing it. So I flattened it out. And I took my pen top, just like I did with the cookies. And I pushed a circle. And there it is. I'll show you. See? That was all I did. Then, I took a little tool. It's a fancy tool. And I just made a little hole inside. And then I took my, my little exacto knife, and if you play with these, be careful. That's my dog, my little cocker spaniel, Jasper. He must have heard a leaf blow. And I'm just going to put little lines. Now, I would use that cell phone camera thing and do the above video. The problem with that is when I'm making the videos, I'm pushing something wrong and I'm taking photographs instead. Can you see it? Can you see, can you see, can you see? And then I'm gonna take just a little tiny bit of my red clay, just a little bit. That's even too much, just the ittiest, bittiest amount. We'll get it. And I'm going to roll it in a little circle. And I'm going to plop it in the middle. Let's see, that worked out pretty good, right? I'm going to have to bake this. But I want to do something else first. So now, because if we're going to bake, we may as well bake everything at the same time. We're going to make some bread. I'm going to take a fairly good little pinch, and I'm going to roll it in a ball. And again, uh, just so you know, <clears throat> I uh, needed this polymer clay before I started filming. And you, you just need to. It's just a thing. So we have our little ball, and I'm going to take my little X-Acto blade, and I'm going to slice a slice down the middle. Okay, it's not sticking. A lot of people use um, double-sided sticky tape when they're working with tiny things. 
Okay, and then I'm going to just make some pretty little cuts. Um, I'll show you better along the side. To make it look like a little loaf of bread. See? And then I'm going to take some and I'm going to roll it in a ball and then I'm going to kind of roll it in a snake because we're going to make a baguette. I may have a little bit too much there, so hold on. Roll it in a ball. Look. A baguette. It's a baguette. So what I'm going to do now, I'm going to stick it to this little tray. I was hoping this would be a good answer to be able to show you things. And I'm just going to make diangle, diang, slits down the side at an angle. See? That was it. I mean, how hard is that? I think you could do it. I do. So now, what we're going to do is we're going to make a cake. I'm going to take some of my polymer clay and I'm going to roll it in a ball. Okay, I'm going to put my ball on my, my sheet here, and I'm just going to flatten it. And it, it comes into a circle. Isn't that great? Now, I'm trying to think it's a Christmas party. What color frosting should we have? Green? It'll be a bright green, but let's do green. And I'm going to, guess what? Roll it in a ball and then make it into a snake. I want to make it fairly similar. Right? I'm going to lay it on my little sheet here. And I'm going to take my little paint guy. Let me get this cake out of the way for a second. And I'm going to just smoosh it down a couple of times. See? Probably do one more time. Smoosh it down. I'm going to take my X-Acto knife, and this is where it's going to be hard to show you. Oh, it's done. <laughs> <clears throat> um, and I'm going to just slice a piece. I'll show you in just a second. Okay. And I'm going to grab my little cake and it needs to be, I need to cut a little bit off this way. So let me do that real quick. Be careful when you're using an X-Acto knife, please, because I would hate for you to hurt yourself. Okay, now I'm gonna take the little cake I made and I'm gonna push it down on here with the bottom lined up and I'm gonna grab it and start rolling it. And then I'm gonna to have to cut it off There are a lot of people that do this very, very differently than I do. Okay. I'm going to just sort of smoosh it down a little bit, kind of just to soften up that edge. And then go to where I put it together and just kind of pinch it just a little bit. Now I'm wondering what kind of top should we put on this? What about just a little design, some little leaves and berries? What do you think? So I'm gonna take a piece of my polymer clay, I'm gonna roll it in a ball, and I'm just gonna pinch off a piece. I'm gonna put it on the top. 
I think what I need to do for this is use a little bit of my liquid clay. And this is made by it, uh, Sculpey. It's liquid Sculpey. And it's great for sticking a little bit of polymer clay to polymer clay. This could just a dab. And I'm going to take that little tiny piece that I pulled off. And I'm going to place it down. Now I'm going to get another little piece and pull it off. It's really interesting when you pull it off, it kind of um, ends up looking like a little leaf. And it's just such a tiny little, little bit. I'm just going to put this on here and then I'll show you. Now, you can take your X-Acto knife and you can make a slit down the middle of your, just push with your leaf. See, that's what happens. And you can um, go down and push along the sides to make ridges in, in it, to make it look more like a leaf. And now I'm gonna take a little bit of my red clay and I'm gonna make some little balls, like we've done that. And I'm gonna make three little balls. Okay. Can you see? And that is gonna be a cake. That's all I'm gonna do. If we wanted to make, like, I don't know, uh, some sort of a, a cinnamon cake, I'm going to take a piece of neutral Sculpty, and I'm going to make it into a snake. I know, let, we'll make some cinnamon buns so I can show you this, because I, I, I don't have a lot of this um, Sculpty primed tonight so I'm just I'm just rolling it which is not a thing I can show you and it's really funny because it's sticking to the, the bottom I just rolled it and now I'm going to take a little bit of brown which it looks purple on the camera and I'm going to do the same thing and I'm going to roll it in a ball and then I'm going to roll it into a snake and then I'm going to flatten it with a, a paint bottle. Okay. And then I'm going to take it. And I'm going to put it on top of the neutral. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to cut off the extra neutral color. All right. That'll just take two seconds. Okay, and I'm gonna roll it. I'm gonna squish it down. And we have a cinnamon roll. There is so much you can do with this stuff. It's pretty amazing. So the next thing we're going to do, uh, my problem is, is that I don't, I don't believe I, I didn't need enough of the, the, the neutral Sculpty. So I'm going to have to use yellow to show you this. And I apologize to you. I thought I had enough. I took a little bit of this yellow and I'm going to roll it into a ball, but I'm going to sort of push it a little differently so it sort of, sort of gets a potato shape. I'll show you here. 
And then I'm going to take an, uh, an item and I'm going to poke holes every now and again in it to give it little eyes. Let's see. Okay, where is the camera? See? Just poke little eyes in it. Okay. Those are potatoes. The next thing we're going to do is I thought we should have a fruit plate. So I'm going to take this little bit here. It's really hard. Um, and I'm going to roll it into a ball. This should have been kneaded really good. This is a fun one. We're making a pear. I'm rolling it into a ball. Okay, so now what I'm doing is I'm at the top and I'm just pinching it at the top. I'm just pinching it, pinching it. I'm not pinching hard, I'm being really gentle. We have a pear shape. And then I'm gonna take my little tool and in the very top, I'm gonna put a little hole. So I didn't know what I wanted to make the stem out of, out of. So I went outside and I pulled some pine needles. And I'm gonna cut that down pretty low. And I'm going to take this pine needle and I'm going to put it in. There's a little extra piece on there. I'm going to put it in this little hole. Push it down a little bit. You may have to use a little bit of the liquid Sculpty or a little bit of glue. Okay. Then I'm going to pinch off a tiny little bit again of my green clay and I'm gonna press it down here and we have a pear. Now I have to bake these. Well funny thing is I already did. So let's see what we got. So here's our pears. I have to paint them. So I have some green paint. Let me get my palette. And guess what I didn't grab? I didn't grab water. I'll be right back. I mean, I thought I was so good tonight. I was so prepared. I was so prepared. It, it's, it's, it's a tragedy. I'll be right back. That kind of stuff cracks me up. I, I, I was so prepared. I thought I was so, so, so prepared. So I'm gonna check my paint here. Yeah, we need to put some uh, green paint on. And I am using, um, this is called New Shamrock. And I'm going to add some yellow. And this is called 918E Yellow Light. And these are the folk art paints. Oh, the yellow, for some reason, comes out like super crazy. And I'm going to put some brown, which is my nutmeg brown. And I'm going to take my brush and I'm going to put it in my water and I'm going to grab a little bit of the green, a little bit of the brown, and just a tad of the yellow. Okay. 
actually maybe could use a little bit more yellow. All right. The best way for me to do this is to put it in my hand and hold it and paint it. There. I'm going to put that down and let it dry. It needs to dry. And I want to paint all of these really quickly because we need to do something with them. I broke the stem off that one, but it's okay. Not all pears have stems. Okay, we'll let that dry. And paint this one. You see the paint all over my hands? Yeah. Yeah. I'll let that dry. There'll be different colors. That one needs more paint, though. It's, it's it could be tedious, but I want I want you to know that it's worth it in the end. It just is. It's just worth it. I believe so. the lap. Yep. Okay, so the pine needles are delicate, but it's going to be okay. So now I know next time not to use the pine needles. It's not a fail yet. Not quite. Okay, we need to let these dry. There's one more. And we need to let it dry. You guys are gonna laugh at the way I paint potatoes, but I found it to be just the best way. I am gonna take some brown paint. It's okay that there's a little yellow in my hand. And I'm going to put the yellow paint in my palm of my hand. And I'm going to take my potatoes. And I'm going to roll them around. That's all I'm doing. It is my favorite by far way to do the potatoes. I'm going to put these down and let them dry. I need to wash my hands. I don't know why. <laughs> you want a hug? Come here, let me give you a hug. I'll be right back. Well, the next thing we're going to make are candles. I have these little bitty dollhouse candlesticks. I think um, Ariana got these for me. So I have what is called translucent polymer clay. And I'm gonna just roll a snake and I'm gonna cut it. I think that looks good. All right, about like that. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to pinch the end. None of this, they, they try to make it look more complicated than it is. That's all I'm doing is I pinch the end. And I'm going to put that on my tray with everything to cook. Okay? But in the interim, I made stuff so we didn't have to do that. I have my little candle that I made, one of them in here, and I painted the wick orange and, and red. I just felt like it needed a little bit of yellow. Okay, so there's one. And how I put the candle in there was with the museum wax, and I'm going to show you that. 
Look how good. I, I mean, I just think it's good. So I'm going to put that down and let it dry. This is my museum wax. And... Crystalline, crystalline clear, the professional choice, used by museum professionals. I am not a museum professional. I'm going to take my handy tool and I'm going to scoop me out about that much. And I'm going to take my candlestick and I'm going to put this in here. And then I'm going to take the second candle I made and I'm going to put it in there. Okay? This is, see what I'm saying to you? It isn't like that complicated, right? And I'm going to paint it with the red, the orange, and the yellow to make it look like it's actually burning. So the next thing we need to do is our breads. So I need to move my little potatoes and my little pears. Move all my thingies and my stuff. And I'm gonna get my breads. And I, um, we made some together and I cooked some. Now, what we did the other day when we made our turkey is we used the orange and the brown and then a little bit of the black. And that's what we're gonna do this time. So I need to put a little bit of orange on my paint palette I cannot get over this technique and how how good how good it works. So I'm going to take my baguette and I'm going to paint the whole thing orange. It's quite a bit of brown paint in there from the potatoes, I guess. And I'm going to paint it orange. I like using my fingers. Okay, and then I'm going to take my little loaves of bread and do the same thing. Paint it orange. Next one, and paint it orange. I was watching... Um, something that was a, like a craft show on the YouTube. I'll tell you, it's very organized and very manicured. And I thought, Lord help me. I just, I can't do that. I just am who I am. Bless their hearts. Okay, and now we're going to go back to the baguette. None of this paint is completely dried, which is absolutely fine. And I'm going to go over it with the brown. And what I like about this particular technique is I'm noticing I don't have to be perfect about it. It's going to work out. Okay, and we'll get our little baguettes. Do the same thing. Well, no, these aren't baguettes. These are just like um, loaves, little loaves of bread. But the technique of doing the brown, the orange, well, actually, let me rephrase that, the orange and the brown and then a little bit of the black, it's, it's, it's like amazing to me. And I can't remember where I heard about that. And I wish I could, because I would write them a letter and say, that is fantastic. I'm just putting that one little loaf down and now we're on the, the last one.
Okay. So the last thing we're going to do is we're going to put a little bit of black in the palette. And I found that the best way um, for me to do the black was to grab just a little and then blot my brush. Grab just a little bit. Palmer clay is flowing. And just get as quite a bit of the paint off. And I'm just going to like tap, 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 tap. And that's even too much. So I'm going to use my finger. But what's going to happen, and I'll show you that in a minute, when we um, varnish it, it's going to be great. You're going to you're going to want to eat this. Don't don't do it. I have a little bit of water on my finger. We have one more. So pretty amazing to me. The next thing we have to do is plate things and varnish things. But actually, I lied to you and I didn't mean to. I apologize. I need to go wash my hands. <laughs> I'll be right back. We're back. My hands are clean. So what I did is the turkey tray. Remember I kept saying we need to put more on it. We need to put more on it. So I took some of those red things that I was calling tomatoes and I decided that they're going to be cranberry sauce. And I put those on there. And then I took the pineapple with the cherries with the M word and I put those on there. And I had those pine needles and I thought, ooh, ooh, let's make green beans. I varnished all of those. So now I'm going to take my glue gun and I'm going to glue in that other corner where nothing is. And I'm going to pick up all my little potatoes. I'll get these strings off. And I'm going to put the little potatoes on there. I thought, we'll just have some little potatoes, some little, I don't know, we'll call them new potatoes. And they're just nice and soft, it just instead of mashed potatoes. Mashed potatoes actually would have been a lot easier to do, but I wanted potatoes. I need to put a little bit more glue. Get my strings. We have our little potatoes. So now what I'm going to do is take my little brush and grab a little of my varnish. And I'm going to go over all my potatoes. Give them just a little bit of a gloss. I'm not going to do as much on the potatoes. I don't want them as glossy as everything else. So the tray is now complete. We've got green beans and cranberries and the pineapple and the potatoes. Not bad. I'm pleased with that. I thought the turkey, I'm still so impressed with that paint technique. I just thought the turkey turned out really well. Okay. Now we're going to do the bread. I have this beautiful little plate. I wanted to say to you too, on some of these little plates, they're really just beautiful. I don't want to put a glue that's not going to come off. With this... Um, hot glue gun I'll be able to take it off if I wish to and that's always nice I'm gonna put the baguette I'm gonna take my little rolls I'm having a hard time being camera like I can't quite figure out the camera thing tonight it's all right it's gonna be all right I'm going to put one right on the top. I 
And again, what am I gonna do? I'm gonna grab my varnish and I'm gonna go around all my little rolls Not a big deal, none of this is tricky as you've seen. And none of it is hard to do when the effect turns out great. Now there's some people literally would spend days, days and days and days making just one little tiny little bit of bread. That's, that's just not me. I mean, there's some things I will spend more time on. So we have a beautiful plate of bread it will dry and it will look fabulous okay so turkey cranberries potatoes green beans and pineapple with little m cherries a loaf of bread breads now I'm going to take hmm this little plate that I painted and again I'm going to use my hot glue. I do that thinking I'm holding it up to you. I'm going to take my little pears and just arrange them. I thought a plate of pears for Christmas would just be beautiful. And what am I going to do next? I'm gonna get my paintbrush. I'm gonna get my little slack. I'm gonna slack my pears. That's it. Not a big deal. Nothing was hard. I know now not to use the little pine needles for the stems. I mean, but the ones that stayed, they look pretty good. I think that one's a little bit long. I think we'll trim it. I'm kind of nervous. I'm afraid if we do <laughs> fall off. Yeah, it did. There's there's still a little bit in there. Okay, so I'm gonna try to slack it. No, it's just making it worse. Not a complete fail, but not great. Let's see if it dries. There. I know it looks a little white right now because of, of the uh, the acrylic gloss, but that, that will dry. Now, I have this other cake I made that we made something similar to it tonight. And I have a little tray And again, I'm gonna put some uh, of my hot glue on it. And I'm gonna set that on the tray. This is a good example. If you see these little leaves, I did take my X-Acto knife and I did make the veins. It probably could have used a couple more berries, but I think that'll be fine. That's it for the food. That is it for the food. This will make them happy or it won't. I'm gonna take a little of my shellac and I'm gonna get just the tip of this candle that I did. And I have two. And let that dry. That's it. I think we did it. I think we did it. So let's review. Shall we review all of the food items? Oh, you didn't see this. I have to schlack it. I decided to do a little butter dish. There's a little butter. I need to shellac that. I was saving that for you. And this one I want to shellac a little bit more than the others. When that dries, it'll be lovely. It'll make you think that it's butter. So we have butter. We have a little bowl of carrots. 
we have our plate of peas and butter. Yum! We have our plate of cookies. Our little snowman cookies with glitter from Santa Claus on it, frosting. I made this cake. Just like I made this one. I have to cook this one. And I will before the party and find plates for both of these. We made... Oh, I have a plate. Our lollipop centerpiece. Here, I wonder if this will fit on here. It won't. I wonder if this will fit on here. It's a perfect plate. And I have to bake it both, so I think it'll be all right. I'm going to put a little bit of just a dollop of glue. And I'm going to put this on here and I'm going to bake it. Won't that be cute? I say yes. I say yes. I say it'll be cute. I say it'll be cute. So the next thing, oh, you didn't see this. I took a piece of cloth. I didn't just, I'm running out of time, y'all, for the party. So I was gonna paint this, but I just took a snowflake flake piece of cloth and I soaked it in water and I put it on the top of the table. Um, I'm. I then took some white glue and just did a very light coat on top so it would stay. I'm not concerned about this table, the wonky legs. I mean, it's just ridiculous, but, but we'll have a table for the party. We did it. We got everything ready for the party. I did today, I made, and I didn't film it, but I made some little Christmas stockings and being that I made such a stink about the snowman hats, I'm going to make little cone hats for some of the guests and stuff and put pom-poms on it. But that is something I will do off camera. And uh, there'll be some other surprises added uh, that you didn't see me make. And it's, uh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be a great party. Amelia's going to like it. I want to show you one more thing. And then we'll say au revoir. Hold on a second, okay? Hold on, just one second. I'm back. I had to make a few last minute um, Christmas ornaments. And I looked around my stash and one of the gifts I gave people last year was um, a hand scrub with, with sea salt. And I put little wooden spoons in uh, so you could just scoop, scoop out. And I had some of these little wooden spoons left. So I was thinking about it. I was looking at him, and I decided I'm gonna I'm gonna paint the bowl. And of course, I had to put glitter on it. This is a little Christmas tree. What I'm going to do is I'm gonna drill a hole up here, and put a ribbon through, and maybe put a little tiny bow there or a bell. And then the other one I did was this a, a snowman, and of course, he's wearing a cone hat. The cookies I couldn't do a cone hat. It was just a little too tricky, so I decided to do the top hat. I'm such a hypocrite. I'm like, yeah, I did that. So these, I just thought these were super cute. What I did was I painted the bowl kind of a beigey, creamy, beigey, creamy, white, beigey. And then I painted the little tree. And then um, there's a little star on the top. And then I did a little snowflake here. And then um, after everything dried, I put my liquid gloss on it and then I drizzled some glitter on it. That was all I did. The same thing with this. I painted it that beigey, creamy, lovely, whitey, creamy. Made a little snowman, painted the little snowflake, and then I sprinkled uh, the Christmas wonderful glitter on it. And again, I'll drill the hole up at the top here put a ribbon through it and I, I was thinking about but now I'm thinking I want to do a jingle bell but I just wanted to show you I just wanted you to see I thought those were adorable what a cute cute little little Christmas ornament um, the the folks that I'm giving it to I know will appreciate it yeah I just have to remind them not to use it to eat with that would be a problem the next time I see you, 
It will be an Amelia B's Christmas party. I am certain that you all received your personal invitations. It is the event extravaganza of the year. So please join us. Though I don't know when I'm posting it. But when I do, please join us. You, look at that. You can't see my eyes. You guys are wonderful. Again, thank you for the comments. Thank you for your suggestions. I am thrilled to death. I will um, tell you, I, I know that on Tuesday, I, uh, we're not doing uh, the Withering Cottage. Um, the Tiny Human doesn't have school. And if Ariana and I are doing the show and uh, her husband's out of town, we don't have anyone that it will be able to watch her so we're just not going to do it Tuesday and it's okay you know we, we need to take care of the tiny human and um, I want you all to take care of yourselves I want you to be safe out there and I appreciate you for joining me here at Amelia B's Crafting World and I will see you in just a few days for the extravaganza be safe